Hey, what's up, guys? This is in a dub over video, so I'm going to tell you about my beautiful long stand up canoe paddle I made. I've got three, four pieces of wood here, a cedar post, which is my shaft that's eight foot right now, and then I have some oak siding, eighth inch, and some pine siding, an eighth inch, and then another thicker piece of pine. So, what I did here is I um, cut them down to length. It's a pretty big paddle blade, like three foot. And uh, on the outside, you can see I've got the oak and then the pine siding in the middle. And then I took some of the oak and I actually split it halfway down the middle because I wanted a slightly thicker piece uh, so I could taper the paddle. Save me some work grinding it down. And then that thicker pine next to the cedar post. So that's the shape. All right, so I glued it in sets just because of the awkward shape and the uneven nature of it. You can see here on the end that it's kind of tapered, right? Each piece is a little bit skinnier than the than the shaft and that was just to to help make a natural curve for the paddle blade. Okay, and the finished product is looking pretty good. Um, glued real solid, no problems there. Plenty of good clampage and all. So it's starting to take shape a little bit. Um, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, so you can see that tapered um, characteristic of the wood I used where the shaft is the thickest and then it gets a little thinner. And here are the two blades. I've got one blade, the pine against the wood, uh, the oak, and then another pine against the oak. And yeah, you can see that's just siding from the hardware store of some kind. I'll have to grind that down. It's fine, no big deal. All right, and here, after those were glued together, um, I've glued the blades on to the entire shaft. I only had two clamps. Probably could have used more, but it's been fine so far. And it actually looks pretty good. You can really see that tapered shape, which I was going for. And that should make a uh, cut down on the work I have to do. Yeah, it's a little uneven. So one side of the paddle, I guess, will have a little bit more scoop than the other. Ah, well. It's it's fine. It it looks pretty good. So the next step I think will be to oh yeah, cut it out. So I just use a circle to cut out a circle side and then I angle down the the blade shoulders. You could go with any shape here. That's just what I did. I don't really know much about them. Okay, I cut them off probably just using my um skill saw uh cuz that's the only thing I have for cutting. Yep, there's and this is the grinder which was the the hero of the product, the grinder actually ground down all that wood. It ground down the cedar shaft to be even and flat with the blade. And um, it, it did it pretty fast. The cedar's pretty soft wood, so it didn't take too long. And so I aimed for that eighth inch, or sorry, the quarter inch of the ends. Ah, the bamboo. I um, decided the cedar shaft was too flimsy, so I decided to strengthen it with a piece of bamboo, a bamboo strip on either side of the shaft. I put it in the bathtub, sorry about my bathroom, um, because I thought it would make it easier to work with. I don't actually think this helped at all. So I had just ground down one side of the bamboo and then clamped it along the shaft. Now it was really too long. It's eight foot and I don't have that many clamps and as you can see I even tried to use some zip ties and wrapped some string around it which I don't think they did anything as you will see later. It was really a terrible job of gluing it on. Here we go. So you see all these gaps in the glue. It was just awful. The bamboo wasn't even because I ground it down with a grinder. Um, and there's just gaps in the glue from wherever the clamps were pressing down. It was a terrible, terrible, hideous, hideous, hideous. I did grind down the bamboo to, um, you know, make it taper off as well, but I gotta fix this. Yeah, oh, I'm embarrassing myself just looking at it right now. Yeah, those, those are not gonna do well, especially in the water, you know, you get water in there and it's gonna just create problems. Um, you know, maybe once I put some, I could put like polyurethane or something, it would work. Ah, so here's what I did. I took some wood glue and just mixed it in with sawdust and created this nasty paste and just slathered it everywhere. So I just took my finger and stuffed it in all the cracks and, and added kind of wood filler, basically. I created my own wood filler, which is pretty solid wood filler, you know, considering it's made out of 
wood glue. And then after sanding it down, look at that, it's not too bad. It's definitely better than it was before. For somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, I'd say it was all right. It's got a little bit of character too, those bamboo, what do you call those nodules along the side? Awkward. Uh, yeah, and so I did on both sides and the paddle is still pretty lightweight because cedar's lightweight and so is the um, the bamboo, but it's a fairly sturdy shaft. I'm very pleased with it. And then I, uh, yeah, put linseed oil on this one. Um, here's what it looks like, a little bit finished with some oil on it. Uh, it really brings out the brown of the cedar and that, um, by the way, linseed oil doesn't absorb much into bamboo. And then uh, you can really see that pink or the red of the oak and the pine. So it's a beautiful cutting board if, uh, if it ever breaks. And yeah, a little sloppy there on the bamboo tapering. but So you can see that wood filler. It's a little bit textured. It's not as smooth as I was hoping. It, it might not be perfect. You know, maybe uh, some layers of polyurethane would really help smooth that out a little. But right now I'm just going with the natural look, so the oil. And it seems to be working okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Ah, so here's some live action footage from, uh, I had to test it out to know how long I wanted it. I had to know if, if I needed to cut it down to put a handle on it, because it's eight foot right now, so there's no handle yet. And so my last trip, I did some paddling, and usually you have to hunch over a little with my uh, longest paddle I have. So this one was really about perfect. The blade goes all the way into the water, and I, I don't have to lean over too much. I can get a really big stroke with it. I just sped it up a little bit. But I actually don't think I'm gonna need to cut it down at all. Um, just add a handle on with the length it is now. I don't have any video of adding the handle, so you can look at my other canoe paddle, the one actually between my legs right there. You can uh, check out that video if you wanna see kinda how I did that paddle handle, but I mean, I don't think there's anything too crazy about a handle. Uh, here's some rapids, so in, in real time, just minor rapids, standing up, and that paddle is so big, you know, it, it it's slow and powerful, so it gave me a lot of control, you know, as a rudder, and, and I could really, I really felt like I was pretty stable with that paddle in the water, it was like um, a stilt, a walking stick almost, so it, it actually was pretty nice to have on the rapid. Well, um, oh, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, if, if you uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. And um, check out my trebuchet video. That one's awesome. Bye.